Hello and welcome to Exoprise. In this video, we will demonstrate how to deploy an Exoprise Teams AV sensor for proactively monitoring Teams audio video performance from any vantage point. You will see how to monitor Teams AV performance from throughout the world, including real time statistics such as packet loss, jitter, RTT, all seen from the perspective of the Teams client web RTC protocol. So let's get started. Deploying a Teams AV sensor requires setting up a private site and management client, as shown in one of our previous videos. Once you're signed into the management client, visit the Add Sensor page. Type in Teams AV in the search box and click the Teams AV conference sensor to begin the installation. Click Next. The Teams AV sensor requires accepting an OAuth authorization to enable the Exoprise Teams AV bot to join a meeting only when invited by the sensor. This OAuth authorization and permissions are configured and required by Microsoft. The acceptance of the bot is a one-time event, so it is possible to invite a Teams administrator into Exoprise Cloud Ready to accept the invitation just once. Enter credentials for an account that you want to use to test with and proceed. For more information, visit the link below. After the sensor is successfully validated to test Teams AV, click Next. In the final step, simply choose the private site you want the Teams AV sensor to be deployed to. Click Finish when ready. Congratulations, you just deployed your Teams AV sensor for coverage everywhere. Now let's visualize the sensor data, which may take some time to arrive. Let's discuss each of the six tabs one by one. The AV Streams tab showcases critical metrics about jitter, packet loss, and the impact they can have on the quality of audio video conversation. Comparing any of these metrics to the cloud ready crowd helps you in pinpointing the issue. If the crowd metrics are exhibiting the same patterns as your own sensors, that points to a shared problem with Teams or Azure infrastructure. Otherwise, it's a localized issue within your own network. The metrics on the meeting connection tab, such as round trip time or RTT, is a measure of latency and covers the overall quality of the connection for the conference to the actual Microsoft Teams hosting infrastructure. Click on the More button so you can analyze advanced metrics for the meeting connection. The Media Quality tab details the overall effects on video frame dropping and audio samples. Login and Render are excellent proactive tests of the underlying teams and Azure AD infrastructure. The CQD won't tell about problems in this area ever, and you want to ensure proactive tests of the entire service delivery chain. Page layout statistics can indicate client-side performance issues, especially if Teams JavaScript has changed or altered the page. Connect timings are overall network statistics for the entire sensor run. Time to first byte or TTFP is an excellent indicator if the team sensors are slowing. Connect and DNS lookup times are often seen as clues to network performance problems. The Network Path Performance tab shows hop by hop statistics and aggregated trace route data if your network allows connection to the Microsoft front door or edge. So there you have it. We covered deploying Microsoft Teams AV sensor and viewing real-time WebRTC metric data in the sensor details window. There's more to learn 
at www.exoprice.com. Thank you and enjoy your monitoring journey with Cloud Ready.